forgot to add, YouTube would like us creators to say, stay inside and create something. So stay inside, wash your hands, don't touch your face, stay inside, help us flatten the curve and just stay safe. Be distant, take it seriously. This is a big deal. Do your best. We'll come out of this on the other side. Thanks. What's happening, boot junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. First, I want to say thank you to um, Curtis Judd and Bandrew from Podcastage. Um, check out their channels if you haven't. They had a really good discussion on, on microphones and disagreeing and selecting the right microphone. I was really honored to be um, even just mentioned uh, among those two gentlemen in their discussion of microphones. So I encourage you, I'll link to their channels below, uh, but I do encourage you to go to go watch their discussion about finding the right microphone, making those choices about microphones, and why microphones might be right for one person and not right for someone else. I, I was really flattered to be to be mentioned among them. Thank you to Bandrew and thank you to uh, Curtis. It was a really engaging and enjoyable discussion. And maybe we'll get to do it together at some point. Um, but here's what I want to say. And this is not a commentary in that video, not whatsoever. This is really a commentary for those folks that are at home at the moment uh, and maybe aren't aren't working. If you're interested in voice work, you're in luck. You're in luck because you're choosing a job that is predicated on social distancing. The whole point of this 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 uh, this profession is to be socially distant. I spend my life alone in this room in this room. And we talk a lot about microphones. We talk, you know, I, I do a lot of microphones review. There's something that I'm really interested in. I like to, to listen to and explore other microphones as tools for the, for the professional, for, for what we do. But I'm here to tell you that it's not really about the microphone. It's not really about the microphone at all. In fact, and I've been asked this a, a, a whole bunch of times, if I had Pick a number, $1,000 to spend. Let's say I'm being super generous and I had $1,000 to spend. What would I spend it on? I'd spend $900 of that on creating the space in which I record and 100 bucks on the microphone. If I had $100 to spend, I'd spend $80 of it on the space in which I'm going to record and $20 on the microphone. And if you notice what I have here is... I'm recording into my phone. I'm using my phone as the microphone to try and illustrate that point. It's not about the microphone. Most of the microphones that are out there, USB, XLR, whatever, they're going to do just fine for most of the work that the beginner voice actor is going to be hired for. Yeah, if you're going to be recording commercials for McDonald's or Nike, you're going to end up in front of a $3,000 microphone in a $10,000 studio, right? You're going to get booked for that. It's unlikely that you or me working out of our home, stair, uh, our home studio with our, you know, $20 kneewear microphone is going to be working for Nike. But you might be wanting to do voice work to voice your own story, to create your own YouTube channel, to create your own podcast, to keep a journal of what you're going through during this pandemic. And it could be that right now you're at home, there's no work, there's no income coming in, and you want to do something creative. You want to do something creative with this time, if only to distract yourself from the fact that you're cooped up at home, there's no money coming in, and you don't know what to do. Chances are, I'm going to guess, chances are you've got a phone that is at least in the last three to five years. Chances are it's going to have a perfectly fine microphone in it. Your laptop, I haven't done it, a lot of tests with laptops, but chances are your laptop is going to have a perfectly fine microphone so long as you can get it into a space that is reasonably acoustically treated. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be able to go through and tell you how to acoustically treatment 
but uh, to, to acoust acoustically treat a space, but you're in luck. I have another playlist on my channel that's called Improvised Vocal Booths. And that's something that I challenge myself with from time to time. When I travel, when I find myself in a hotel room, if I need to audition, if I need to record something, if I want to practice my craft, I give myself the challenge of trying to figure out how to get as close to a studio quality sound when all I have is the materials available to me in a hotel room, which are often pretty sparse. You can build a perfectly passable vocal studio booth with just a modicum of stuff, stuff you probably, probably already have at home. Comforters, pillows, cushions from your couch, your mattress if you need it, a rug. I think I made a, a video where I, I used a, a rug that I found on the floor at an Airbnb I was staying in. And I, I had, luckily there was a, a closet with a, where I hung some comforters and I put a rug over the door to try and minimize the, uh, the, the reflections in the space that I had. The point is, it's not about a thousand dollar microphone. You don't need a thousand dollar microphone. You don't need a five hundred dollar microphone. You don't need, you don't need an incredible microphone to begin to create, to practice the craft, to rehearse, to practice, to get your reps in for something that you may be wanting to pursue. Look at your phone. Uh, I think I use Smart Recorder. That's what I'm using right now. Go into the settings, make sure it's set at whatever the highest quality setting it is. On this phone, the Samsung phone, the setting was C, uh, CD quality, uh, 44.1 kilohertz. Just set it to the highest possible settings and get yourself into the quietest setting that you can. And you're going to be good to go. Maybe it's a walk-in closet. Maybe you're creating a pillow fort out of your couch cushions. Maybe you're just setting up some comforters and your bed pillows uh, around you just to try and keep those reflections, keep the sound in a space nearby. Experiment. Take this time, drape comforters over things, drape comforters behind you, set up good, soft, squishy stuff around you as you record. And you're going to get a better and better recording every time. Try the microphone in one place, then move it somewhere else. Try a different arrangement of pillows. Use the time to, to get creative, to experiment, to see what's available to you. And I bet, I bet with a, with a couple of different placements, with experimenting and really trying to think outside the box about all of the soft, squishy things and irregular surfaces that you have wherever you're, wherever you're stuck at the moment. I'm betting you can probably come up with a pretty good recording booth. Use the microphone that you already have. If you've got a phone, if you've got a, if you've got a laptop, maybe you've got a, a USB microphone, you probably have something that's going to get you good, passable audio, stuff that you could audition for, uh, for, you know, uh, maybe other fan projects, things that you can voice yourself, put your voice to something that you're recording, create your YouTube channel and use what you have available. I hope this helps. I hope this helps try to give some, just a little tiny bit of, of creative inspiration to know that you're not, you're not stuck. You're not stuck. Chances are that if you're able to access YouTube from your house, that maybe, just maybe you've got enough equipment to get started doing voiceover in some sense whatever that means to you. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Now, get out there. Make yourself a booth. Make yourself some kind of booth and grab a microphone and go create something amazing. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time. Take care.